Hey everyone, welcome to this week's art video. So last week I did a portrait study thing of Gremlin, and then I also talked about his story and how we came to adopt him. And I mentioned that I wanted to do the same thing for Hobbs and Uni, and you guys seem to like that idea, so here I am. Today I'm going to be doing a little portrait study thing of Hobbs. So growing up, um, we were a cat-only household. No dogs ever. My only interaction with dogs was playing with my friend's dogs. And then later, when I was living with my then-boyfriend, now-husband's family, they had dogs. So yeah, my husband grew up with dogs and cats. So eventually, I ended up moving in to his family's house for a while because it was just closer to my college and just logistically it worked out. At the time they had two dogs. One was his mom's and one was my husband's. So I got to have my fix of um, dog ownership kind of while I lived there. Neither of them were technically mine so it wasn't like, I don't know, I trained them a little bit, not like anything super crazy. But, yeah. Unfortunately, my husband's dog, Lucky, he was an old man, and he ended up um, passing away before we moved here, where we live now. So when we did end up moving, it was just me and my husband. I did own Gremlin at the time, but our plan was to move in and get settled, and then go back and get Gremlin and bring him with us, I guess. Because it was a big move. It was like nine hours away. So we wanted to just like get everything figured out first. But then they actually ended up surprising me for my birthday and my husband's mom and my mom came and visited and they brought Gremlin and it was a huge surprise. So when we moved at first, we kind of like moved outside of the city and our plan was to only be there for like six months while we try to find a better place within the city because it was just like closer to his work and stuff. But we actually ended up there for a year. But while we were there, we didn't want to get a dog because it was an apartment complex, so they had very strict uh, rules on like dog sizes and stuff. I think it had to be under 25 pounds, and both me and my husband, we wanted a bigger dog, and we weren't really financially in the place to get a dog, so we waited. When we finally ended up moving closer to the city, we actually moved into one half of a double shotgun style house and our friends lived in the other side. They actually owned the whole thing. They became our landlords. The house like shared a backyard and they had a dog. And we all kind of joked that one of the criteria for us moving in to the other side of their townhouse was that we had to get a dog so that their dog had somebody to play with outside. So after we moved in, we went like on a little family vacation to uh, Disney World and for me that was my first time ever going so that was really cool but then when we got home we went and got Hobbs so for like months and months well probably years actually um, before getting Hobbs I would always look on pet finder to find like dogs in my area so when we were more seriously looking for a dog of course that's what I was using I was being a little picky with what kind of dog I wanted. Since it was going to be my first dog, I was like, I want everything that I want. Like, I wanted it to have short fur. I wanted it to have a cool um, coat. I wanted it to be a girl. And I wanted it to have, like, the kind of ears that, like, stick straight up. Like, kind of like huskies or... Uh, border collies or whatever how their ears stick up it's, which is kind of funny looking back now thinking about what kind of dog I got oh and we wanted a puppy because we were at a point in life like I was working from home so we both felt like we would be able to deal with the unique like issues that come up with having a puppy we figured if we were ever going to get a puppy now is the chance and so that's what we were looking for so after we moved I kept looking for cute girl puppies at the shelters near me and anytime I would find one I'd call or email the shelter and they would let me know that they had already been spoken for which sucked but it's something that I figured was gonna happen because everybody wants a puppy so eventually one day I found one and he was super cute 
It was a boy, but it was everything else that I wanted. And they had him at the shelter, or so I thought. And so while my husband was at work, I went. He knew I was going, I wasn't going like behind his back or anything. Um, we were texting the whole time to make sure that I got a dog that he liked too. So I went and they didn't have that dog. I think he had just left to go to his foster home or something like that. So since I was there, I was like, well, I'll just like look through and see what dogs they have. So they took me to the back and we walked through, which by the way is like the saddest freaking thing. It's super hard to not just tell them you want to adopt every single dog. But I walked through and lo and behold, there was a single puppy in one of those gigantic cages. He was the only puppy in the shelter at the time. So it was a little bit of impatience and also that just immediately I was kind of in love. So I sent some photos to Jason and asked him if he would want to adopt this puppy. I went back to the waiting room waiting for Jason's answer because he was at work. So it was like taking him a little bit to respond, which is like, you know, of course he should be prioritizing work. But um, eventually he got back to me and essentially was just like, so did you get that puppy yet? Which I thought was funny because it's like, he obviously wants it. Like he didn't sound angry or anything. He was just like also impatient about it. So I took that as him okaying the adoption and I put in my adoption request. His name was Tiger at the shelter. He was actually surrendered to the shelter, which I thought was kind of weird, like as a very young puppy. He was already neutered and stuff when I took him home. The shelter has a policy that they won't adopt out dogs if they're not neutered. So like, if there's an intact dog and you want it, then you have to give them like about a week or so because they'll go and do the operation and then you can come and pick your dog up after he's done. Uh, same thing with female dogs with spaying them. He was young enough that when I took him to my vet after I adopted him, just to make sure everything was clear, they were surprised that he was already neutered because he was so young. Because you're supposed to like wait till a certain age or something. And that's how young he was. And normally I feel like when you find like puppies that young at the shelter, typically it's because they found a pregnant dog and brought her in and she had the puppies there at the shelter and then they took care of the puppies until they were adoptable. I feel like it's more common for people to surrender older dogs or like teenage dogs that are like being assholes <laughs> because that's what teenage dogs do. But yeah, or when you surrender a dog to the shelter, they put a reason as to why they were surrendered. And for Hobbs, or should I say Tiger, he was surrendered because he, and I quote, pooped and peed in the house too much, which I thought was ridiculous because he's a freaking puppy. Of course, he's not going to just immediately know to, to ask to go outside to go to the bathroom. He's a freaking puppy. Although maybe the people who owned him before just didn't know how difficult it is to raise a puppy, but... I don't know. I guess I'm thankful that they surrendered him because now I own him and I love him and I can't imagine not having him. So I put in the adoption request and I figured that they were going to come back and be like, all right, it's going to take, you know, a day or two. Uh, we'll call you when it's cleared because you have to write all this information like your address and whether or not you are a homeowner or if you rent. And if you rent, you have to put your landlord's information and you had to put your vet information. Presumably this is also that they can like call those references to make sure that you'd be okay to own um, another pet and if it was okay to your landlord. But really the process only took like 10 minutes. <laughs> I just sat there and uh, they came back to me and were like, all right, he's yours. And I was like, oh my God, what? <laughs> Like already? Holy shit, like I wasn't really ready. Since we were planning on getting a dog, we had gone to um, a pet store, I think the weekend before, and got him a crate because we were planning on crate training him, a little collar and stuff. We weren't sure, you know, what kind of dog and what size dog we were gonna get, so we kind of guesstimated on the collar, but I didn't have the collar or the leash. I think since I wasn't like fully thinking I was going to be leaving with the dog. I think I left that stuff at home. So I was totally caught off guard. And then they came out holding Hobbs and just handed him over to me. And I think that he like immediately peed, which was fun. 
So after that, holding him, I tried to leave the shelter and he immediately tried to jump out of my arms because he was a rambunctious little puppy. And I didn't have, you know, the leash or collar or anything. So they graciously let me take one of their little slip lead things that they use to take the dogs in and out. I was able to use that to walk him over to the car. And then I drove home. I put him down in our living room and then I like blocked that room off so he couldn't like run through the house and so I could keep an eye on him easily and then I sat there and then I was like oh my god what did I just do <laughs> like am I ready to have a puppy and basically all of my like anxiety and fears started surfacing about like owning a puppy and like do I actually know how to train it and are we ready for this? Like all this kind of stuff. And then of course it didn't help that he just like immediately peed on our carpet. <laughs> and then when I like went into the other room to get cleaning supplies to clean it, he started freaking out because uh, he lost his line of sight to me. So he just like started crying and whining. So needless to say, I got a little worried. Uh, I got a little freaked out. I sat down and thought about it and I was like, this is my first dog. Of course I'm going to be nervous. I shouldn't be too nervous. I've taken care of dogs before. They just weren't my own. And obviously we kept him and everything was awesome. Jason came home from work and then sat down and Hobbs immediately jumped in his lap and started trying to lick his face and eat his beard, which was hilarious. Jason loved him. Hobbs loved Jason and it all worked out. And now like five years later we have this big lug of a dude hanging out in our house all the time so yeah that's Hobbs's story going into this i wasn't thinking that i was gonna be like telling that long of a story just because uh we essentially just adopted him from the shelter so that was Hobbs's story next week i will go into uni's story um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and if you want to see more, feel free to subscribe. I do art videos every Tuesday and DIY videos every Thursday. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later this week. Bye!